Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Dr. Han's Pharmacy Classroom. If this is your first time watching my channel, I am your personal online professor. Now, in this channel, I'm covering uh, topics related to pharmaceutical and biomedical sciences, and as well as some learning tips, survival skills, and review on uh, courses on different online platforms. If these are the interesting topic, please feel free to subscribe to my channel and also repost this video on different social media platforms. Now, today I am going to give you a quick update on COVID-19 treatment. All right, so it is going to be very quick. Now, without further talking, let's go to the slides. All right, so this topic is on the quick update on COVID-19 treatment. So I prepared this video on Sunday, May 17th. Usually it's a little bit, uh, a couple of days before I post this video. All right, so what is related to the topic is a concept called cytokine release syndrome or CRS. Now CRS is a systematic inflammatory responses. Now it is a very, very severe inflammatory responses that uh, go across the whole body and eventually lead to mortality or fatality in patients that are infected with the COVID-19 or the SARS-CoV-2 viruses. Now it's often caused by infections and could be also caused by some drugs and other factors. There is a sharp increase in uh, a large number of pro-inflammatory cytokines and uh, IL-6 is one of the major player in this uh, syndrome. So this IL-6 is released from SARS-CoV-2 now in the context of COVID-19 when it binds to uh, the alveolar epithelium. Now the viruses activated our innate and adaptive immune systems. Now remember IL-6 I go through in, I went through in classes can induce fevers and uh, you know lead through the prostaglandin uh, prostaglandin. Uh, pathway and also induce or stimulate acute phase proteins production such as um, C proteins and complement uh, C3 and C4 proteins. All right, it can also mediate B cell proliferations and differentiations, leading to generations of specific antibodies that can uh, bind or uh, bind to this uh, virus. All right, so it is a good thing. IL-6 is definitely something that is important uh, to mediate our immune response. But sometimes too much of a good thing becomes a bad thing. All right, uh, too much of IL-6 lead to some systematic inflammations that is too strong uh, and lead to fatality in patients. So what can we do uh, to reduce mortality rate in patients infected with uh, the SARS-CoV-2 viruses? Okay, so what are the treatment options? Now, recently, uh, not recently, actually, has been already a month, okay, there is a clinical trial going on on phase three, uh, utilizing an existing medication, okay, tocilizumab, okay, which is a antibody drug that is currently approved for the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis. Well, let's see if it can help patient uh, to live, you know, longer or survive through this viruses, okay, treatment of COVID-19. Now, what is um, this tocilizumab? It is actually an IL-6 receptor blocker. Right, so very quick update or very quick review on the mechanism of actions. Now, it actually block both soluble and membrane-bound IL-6 receptor as shown in this figure below. Now, let me see if I can activate my pen here. Now, here we have our uh, antibody drug here, and it binds to both the soluble form and membrane bond formed. When it binds, it blocks IL-6 from binding so that it doesn't uh, generate the signal transduction uh, leading from the binding actions. Overall, overall effect is to reduce uh, systemic inflammations, all right? So uh, in a way that can uh, lead to uh, a higher or better survival rate on the patient infected with the viruses. All right, so that is a very quick update on this drug. It's currently still undergoing phase three clinical trial. Now, I hope uh, this trial can produce a more favorable result and leading to approval of this biological product for the treatment of COVID-19. All right, so without further talking, that is really the end of today's quick uh, 
learning a quick summary of this current medications uh, that is undergoing uh, clinical trials. To learn more, I have quoted one of the articles that I use uh, for uh, generating today's information. Feel free to check it out more. And if you like this uh, material, please subscribe to my channel and I update on Sunday and Tuesday of every week. Now, without further talking, and I'll see you next time. Bye.